marketing, when it's done well, doesn't have to feel fake and it doesn't have to be pushy. But unfortunately, that's how it's mostly taught out there. So for those of us who are service providers, we're usually taught some kind of a model I would call you know, the authority model, which is that you're supposed to set yourself up as some nearly infallible authority. You gotta, your brand has to look so professional. You gotta look, maybe make your business look bigger than it actually is. And really, at the end of the day, you don't feel authentic compared, aligned with your brand. You're not, that's not really you. That's just a public persona you're putting on, isn't it? Um, and you could tell I don't believe in that model because I'm so casual in my public persona in my videos, right? Um, but my business is so uh, fulfilling to me and I can be myself with you and it's okay with you, right? Um, and so instead of the authority model, I'm going to recommend the authentic business model, which I would define as coming from getting in touch with your higher self and coming from that place of higher self when you're doing your business and marketing. So from a place of deep compassion and a sense of service for the people you're trying to help. So one of the pitfalls that a lot of um, service providers make is that they don't talk to enough people about uh, what those people want related to what they can provide. There's an old quote that goes, you can have what you want when you help enough other people get what they want. And I don't think those of us who are service providers are talking to enough people about what they want that's related to what we want to provide. And so that's my homework for you, is to focus on talking to more people so you can really understand and sense into what they want and need related to what you provide so that your natural higher sense of compassion and sense of service will kick in and naturally make your offerings more resonant to people like them. Does that make sense? And when, you're re when your offerings are optimized and resonant for your ideal audience, all you've got to do is whisper. Hey, you know, I understand that this is what you need, right? This is what you want. This is what you're looking for. This is what you are interested in even paying for, what you bought that's similar to uh, what I offer in the past. If that's true, well, then I've got this for you that I think is going to, might work even better. So you might want to check it out. It becomes out of a sense of service and, hey, I really, my business can really help you rather than here's the method that I, I know is going to work for you and I'm going to persuade you and use a funnel to convince you into buying this. When you are acting from a sense of compassion and service, you don't have to persuade and push. You simply connect, you resonate, and you help. And so how do you even find people to talk to that are like this? Well, start with your friends, start with your colleagues, start with people who already know and trust and like you. And if they're not the exact people who would buy something like yours, you ask your friends and colleagues if they could introduce you to anybody, if they know of anyone who is like this, who would might buy something like this, help ask your friends to help you brainstorm uh, who you might reach out to and th therefore they might actually know some people that they can introduce you to. So remember, in life and in business, you can have what you want when you help enough other people to get what they want. So come from a of an authentic place of your natural higher sense of compassion that you already have within you. Tap into that, tap into your sense of service and do your marketing from there. And it becomes, it becomes about helping, becomes about really connecting and it becomes joyful. So until the next video, I'm George Cow, always open to your comments and questions and I wish you authentic, joyful marketing.